I'm Marius from MWS Photography and today we are going to look at some camo gear. Now it's very cold and very windy so hopefully my external mic is behaving itself. So we're going to look at the tripod legs as well as the lens and also a complete hide that you cover yourself with so you can get much cooler shots. Now you can just picture if you're a nature or bird lover and you've got 20 people taking the exact same bird from the exact same spot everyone's going to have the exact same image but if you can go closer you're going to have a completely unique image and that's where the camo gear comes in now if we look at the tripod itself i've got these um, covers for the tripod legs and you can see it's got a velcro strap here it's got a velcro strap strap there and it's got a pattern on both sides you've got more like a nature type of cover right here and then also more like an army type of um, uh, cover right here. Now I've put one at the bottom of the legs right here and I've also put one right here. Now you can decide where you want to put this. Now the reason I've got one at the bottom is that when I'm going to cover myself with the hive, uh, uh, the hide, the hide, <laughs> the hide a little bit later on, you're going to see that maybe when I'm moving around there is a, a chance that maybe the leg that's shiny will stick out. So I'm just going to cover it and I know when I've got the hide um, over me because I can't, I will, most probably won't be able to see there, then I know that section is covered. Maybe you're in a clearing and you're covered with the, with the camo, but maybe your tripod's sticking out here. Then you can cover this section right here, and then you know that the birds or whatever you're taking pictures of won't see this section right here. I don't have anything for this part right here at the moment, so that's a mission for another day, but it, at least you can use this section right here as well. So now, Next up, we are going to look at the camo for the lens. Now, if you look on the screen, you'll see a list of all the lenses that you can basically get this for. So you can see there's a pretty huge list available for this. So when we look at the lens camo, it's made from 4 millimeter waterproof neoprene. And when you press against it, you can feel it's nice and soft. It's got a nice cushion feel to it. So it's got good shock absorbency. Now, because you're covering your entire lens with this, you're going to have less scratches and that'll give you much better resale value when you want to sell this later on. Right, so now it comes in segments. So when you open up your package, you're going to have all these different parts that's going to fit onto your lens. And there's also one for your teleconverter. So if you've got a teleconverter, you can cover that as well. So you just pack everything out. I've still actually got pieces I haven't even put on here. And then you just pack everything out, put everything on the lens, and there you go. Now the nice thing, when I take the lens hood off, I can take off this section right here. As you can see, no glue. So you just put it on. There's no, no fuss. So now I can take this and I can turn it around like this. So on this side, it's just completely green. And on this side, you've got that nice um, nature look as with the rest of the lens. So now I can just take this again and cover it and just put this on here. So it's got a dual purpose. You can decide which side you want to use. And also there are different, um, different designs available like snow and desert and then like the car key. So you can decide which one you want to use for the different locations that you find yourself in shooting. Right, so now when I zoom with this lens, you'll see it when I'm zooming, I don't have anything to put on here. So I've got this section, the same with the other one. It's also got a Velcro right here, and it's got Velcro right here. So I can just put it on like this. And again, I can decide if I want to have the green side or the one with the more naturey print. <laughs> right, so now that section is covered as well. So I think that's everything with this also if i look at this section right here you can see they've nicely cut it out so everything is made to fit your lens you just buy the one that's going to fit your lens and then you just build it up exactly the way you want it okay that's that for the lens camo now when you look at the hide this is based the part where you show how passionate you are about your photography because i need to put this on in public <laughs> okay right now again as i said it's windy so i might struggle a bit with this now as you can see it's got velcro now this is the part where the lens is going to come through and then you can close the velcro and when you just look a little bit higher hopefully you're going to see this now it's got an opening right here 
and it's got a mesh on the inside so that's for the net that's going to stop the insects and stuff and the bugs and so on now to get in this thing with this windy condition it actually might be a very nice um, windscreen for my mic when i go in in this thing ah okay another thing it's important i'm wearing a cap and the reason for that is otherwise this net's going to be my face the entire time so this is going to help support the net right so let me just find where this section is okay this part goes here and you can see through the entire thing so it's not difficult to see everything that's going on now this section just trying to find the velcro part okay this goes over here i guess once you're in here it's okay <laughs> Hopefully you're going with someone else as well, that you're not struggling like I am here. Okay, where's that Velcro section? Because the wind is not my friend now. Okay, I've always got it. It's actually a good thing to see the wind blowing me like this, because obviously when you're taking pictures, you're not always going to have the best weather. So now I can cover this with Velcro. And then... I'm covering the rest of the tripod as far as I can and now you can see when you look at the bottom that's why I said putting the, the um, covers on the um, on the bottom section so that you can cover it as you can see right here at the bottom okay so I've got this section right here I'm not going to turn the entire thing to the camera yes I know I still have my lens cap on <laughs> so I don't know if you can see me here yeah? Um, my wife behind the camera can you see me on the screen okay she can see me so now you can just sit here and wait for your um, image to come to you because obviously if this is in in a forest or something I'm just having trouble with the bottom part of this wind by myself <laughs> so obviously now you can just sit in this thing and wait for your shot so yeah I think that's that for this um, review <laughs> and yeah then I'll see you in the next one and if you enjoyed um, looking at me like this covered in green then please subscribe to this channel and like the video and then I'll see you again in next week's video <laughs> bye